family to yours. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to KDKA-TV's 59th annual Free Care Friends Benefit Show. I'm Ken Rice. And I'm Kimberly Gill. You know, more than 100 years ago, the Children's Hospital here made a commitment to the community that no child would go without medical care because of lack of funds. And thankfully, 100 years later, they're able to make that promise and keep that promise 100 years later. Thanks to people like you. We've had a fantastic night so far, but we can do a whole lot better. Yeah, you know what we've been doing down here? We've been making a list and checking it twice to coin a phrase. What do you want? Festive holiday decorations? We've got them here in the atrium at Children's Hospital. Lovely holiday music. We have it, courtesy of Mount Lebanon Percussion. What we need on that list is you. We need you to call in. So tonight we're going to be meeting some of our very generous corporate donors, but we also want to hear from you. Individuals, families, make this a part of your holiday tradition once again and contribute. No amount is too little or too big. Right now, let's go to Lynn Hayes Freeland. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Kimberly. And you're right. No no amount too small, no amount too big, because I've got a ton of phone operators right here who are standing by. They would love to hear from you. 412-692-8900 is the number to call. We want to make sure they are exhausted. You get to the phones, get them working. In the meantime, let's go join Mary Rob Jackson, who is with some very special friends. I certainly am, as ever. Every year, we are here in one of the patient rooms. With me right now is Allie Hamilton, and we are going to be hearing her store story in just a little bit and as ever it is a remarkable one so she'll be telling us all about it right now though we're going to go to Brenda Waters who is over in the playroom with the kids hey Mary Rob thank you so much I have two little ones here with me right now we're expecting a lot more kids but you at home we want you to make a promise make a commitment make a difference we're coming to you you don't have to leave home tonight it's raining outside just stay at home pick up that phone and make a donation to Children's Hospital. They change lives here. Let's go back to Lene Spreeland. Thank you so much, Brenda. You know what? There's a lot going on here at the phones, and I'm actually joined by Bill Ry with uh, jo Bill Rykoff from radio. Now, you just finished up on the radio, and you know how exciting this whole night is. It really is. We heard some fabulous, fabulous stories from uh, parents of patients who are here right now over the holidays, but, you know, they've got smiles on their faces because they know the treatment that they're getting here. Some of them from even out of state who have come here to get the care at Children's Hospital, and they're learning what we've known for a long time, what a gem this place actually is. Is. Absolutely, and that's why we want these phone operators busy. 412-692-8900. You know, I was thinking the other day that I felt like I had done so much during this holiday season. Now that I'm here at the hospital, I realize I haven't done nearly enough. If you're feeling that way too, now's the time to make that difference. 412-692-8900. If you're from outside of the area, 877-522-2201 is the number for you to uh, call and make a difference. I love the way that sounds. When you call and make a donation, it makes a big difference. And we're going to go right now to PPG and join Rick D. You know, there's an awful lot of companies that spend a tremendous amount of time and effort throughout the course of the year raising money that they can give away to Children's Hospital. Coming up, we'll introduce you to some of those great corporations, some of the great companies that spend an awful lot of time making sure that every family is taken care of this Christmas time. We'll do that in just a bit, but first let's go back to the hospital now and Mary Rob Jackson. Mary Rob? As we promised, Allie Hamilton is... Oh, I'm sorry. As we promised, we have a very sweet 16 here, Allie Hamilton. She's from St. Clairsville, Ohio. And as I said, uh, Allie, um, so many times things start with very small things to begin with. Tell me what happened to you. Um, it was over the summer. I felt just sick. I thought I had the flu, honestly. I told my mom I wanted to go to the doctor, and she took me. And I had this big bruise on the inside of my thigh. And my doctor had no idea, I had no idea how I got it. So she sent me for blood work and turns out I was anemic. <laughs> With those rosy cheeks, you don't look anemic. <laughs> but that was one of the problems and yes. then. And I was in the ER and they eventually sent me up here to Children's. And they did a bone marrow biopsy later in the week and <laughs> And then you got the word. Mm -hmm. And what was it? I had acute uh, promyelocytic leukemia. 
also known as APL. And so you have been going through chemo. Yes. Yes. For the past five or six months. Right. And and uh, that's how you've been keeping up with your friends. And because at 16, that's real important. Yes. Yes, it is. A lot of my chemo was outpatient. Good. So I had to go to a clinic. So I got to go to my football team's oh. game. And you have the most beautiful eyes. Thank you. And even when they're filled with tears, <laughs> they're even more beautiful. You are a pretty lady, and you brought your tree. I know they call these trees here yeah. in the hospital, mm -hmm. and and yours is a Christmas tree, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes, it is. You've decorated it. Tell me about it. Um, I got the Christmas stocking today, actually. It was a Christmas present, like, from the hospital. Um, there's a lay on there from, I don't remember when. Um, <laughs> There's all gifts I've gotten here from the hospital. Well, they're wonderful, and you're wonderful, and um, and I wish you wonderful things in the new year, sweetheart. Thank you. And be well. All right. Right now, I think, are we going to uh, Ken and Kimberly? Okay, Mary Thank Rob. You, sweetheart. Thanks very much. She is a fantastic young lady, and it's your donations that help her and the other children that are here at Children's Hospital. And we want to mention, too, that your contribution is tax deductible. It's a 501c3 charity here organization, so whatever you contribute, you can write off on your taxes, so that's another good thing. And we want those phones to ring. They're not ringing right now. We need them to really, really start ringing. Ken, who you got here? We are joined by Chris Gessner, president of Children's Hospital. Chris, what does tonight mean for Children's Hospital? Well, how big a deal is this to you guys? This is a very special night for us. We always have it circled on our calendar and look forward to it. The Free Care Fund, I mean, we know about this promise that Children's Hospital made to the community back when it was founded over 100 years ago. But in real terms, in real numbers of families who rely on it, what can you, how can you explain it better? So last year, the Free Care Fund allowed 28,000 families who have maybe fallen on hard times to have their health care provided here for their child without any worries at all. Some of the situations where a family might not have insurance or perhaps a child has a condition that exceeds what insurance will pay, those types of situations? Absolutely. When there's a shortfall in the insurance or if they have no coverage, we're there and we use the Free Care Fund to support our efforts. There are, you know, as you know, everybody knows there are there are good economic periods, there are periods when more people are struggling, but through thick and thin, how do, what would you say about Pittsburgh and its relationship with this hospital? Well, Pittsburgh has a great children's hospital because of the generosity of all the people in the surrounding communities. We were founded 120 years ago with a donation, and we've grown to this wonderful facility because of the support we receive from all the Western Pennsylvania people. Excellent. Chris Gessner, thanks very much. Thank you. All right, looking for a big night tonight. Thank nice. you. Thanks All right. very much. All right, we're going to go to Rick Dayton right now. Rick. You know, one of the things that is the most fun as part of the Free Care Fund every year is seeing the smiling faces and people who are giving things away. And that's exactly what Joan Fiore is here to do. Joan, thank you very, very much for being here. Tell us about your organization, first of all. We're, I'm here representing the Fraternal Societies of Greater Pittsburgh. And we're a group of 20 fraternal insurance companies in the Pittsburgh area, such as the Greek Catholic Union, the Greater Beneficial Union, the William Penn Society. And we sell life insurance annuities and we do nonprofit work in the community. And Children's Hospital has always been one of our special fundraisers that we do. And the thing that is so neat is this check is almost as big as this big, big guy, isn't it? $3,710 that you're giving to the Free Care Fund. And, and let me say we have another fundraiser in the spring where we do a Kids Bullying for Kids event, and so our total contribution adds up to about $10,000. But today, this is the first of our two for this year. First of two installments. Thank you very, very much. Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you very much for being here. Again, that is just a start. And we see this, and we hear this story time and time again, that what they're trying to do is give more than what they have done in the past. Joan, thank you very much. We appreciate you being here.
You're welcome. Thank you. And that gives you an idea of some of the generosity we've got going on. Ken, we're going to send it back over to you. All right, uh, Rick, I'm joined by Howard, Howard Howdy Hanna and uh, some of his intimate executive team here. A, a wonderful group. Before we get to everybody here with the, the chow chow, the whole deal, you have some business to attend to. You're going to light a tree. Well, we have in the Howard Hanna Healing Garden, we have, since we opened the hospital, a Christmas tree, which we annually light up at the, on the night of the great KDK telethon. So if you look out onto the... Uh, in the into the healing guard five four three two one did it work did the app work hang on your press there it is <laughs> it's a delayed app can anyone get that app to turn the tree on and off at their whim <laughs> these are sold online at howardhanna.com these apps you know so. very nice all right so the chow chow express here remind everybody what the chow chow luncheons are about well the chow chow luncheon started 24 years ago this is our 24th year and uh, we raise money at the luncheons and the luncheons have become they were usually just in december for the holiday season at each of your offices and they've become uh, 12 months a year campaign for children's free care and uh, this year we just had a great 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 year and uh, these are the folks the, the realtors and managers and staff at Howard Hanna who participated so much to make this year's drive so successful each of the offices has its own each, event each of the office has its own event and in the old days the Choo Choo Chow Chow train went to a different stop and one of the offices every day in, in December. So it's a uh, growth. So I know, your, I know your total contribution, your company over the years is well into the millions. And we're about to add to it with this year's this this year's total. So this let's see it. Total, Here we go. This year's total for the Children's Free Care Fund and the endowment of our great healing garden, Howard Hanna Healing Garden, is three hundred and eighty-seven thousand seven hundred and ninety-two dollars. Look at that all-time total. And the all-time total is uh, 4.741 for Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. That unbelievable. BMC. So, big hand to everybody in the company and all the supporters and volunteers uh, that work for the campaign all year long. And uh, obviously, near and dear to you, you're the chairman of the Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh Foundation. for have been for a number of years now. Near and dear to your heart. This is. This is uh, Sort of next to the next to my family. This may be even ahead of the real estate company as my my avocation. But uh, but we, we work very very hard and uh, at the hospital here to support just not free care, but so many of the other life events that happen at this great hospital. In which uh, uh, clearly a miracle. When I'm here, I, I feel a miracle happens every day at, at the hospital with the great staff and physicians that we have here. That uh, just a, a, a tremendous resource for our region is this tremendous uh, best of the best hospital. So your Company support is outstanding. Howdy Hanna and the crew from Howard Hanna Real Estate Services. Thank you so much. Happy holidays, everybody. Thanks again. Thanks again, Howdy. We'll see you. All right, let's head back inside to John Burnett, JB. Hey, Ken, thank you so much. Howdy, how can we thank you? I, I've been doing this telethon. This is my 31st Children's Hospital telethon since 1982, and I never, ever cease to be amazed at the genera generosity of Howdy Hanna, but Pittsburghers in general. It's just incredible. And the result is what you see here. Our total, $690,548. And we're not done yet, folks. The best is yet to come. Stick around for more totals coming up this hour. But right now, let's get back over to Kimberly. And Kim, I think I've been doing this show longer than you've been alive. Uh, JB, you probably have. <laughs> that total sounds fantastic, but we can do a whole lot better, folks. We need those phones to ring. Right now, our volunteers are standing by. We got a few of them on the phone, but a few of them are sitting there with nothing to do. So please call the number on your screen. It's 412 692 8900 or 877 522 2201. I can't cannot express to you how fantastic it is to have a facility like this right in our backyard, so to speak, because you never know when your child or some child that you know or somebody else's child will need the services here at Children's Hospital. All right, so right now we're going to go to a video to uh, show you some of the kids who have been helped by uh, your donations here at Children's Hospital. Superhero brave. But I 
need your support. I am a fighter. And I can beat this. Because you give. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's really, really hard. But I will not give up. We will not give up. I am strong, but we need you. Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC provides care to sick children in our region, regardless of their family's insurance or ability to pay through donations from generous community members like you to the Free Care Fund. Give to the kids in our community and ensure that every child receives the care they need without worrying about cost. Because you give, I can beat this. Donate today at givetochildrens.org. Because you give, Children's is here for every child. Out of the mouths of babes, because you give, I can beat this. I'm joined right now by, um, with my friend from KDKA Radio, Bill Rakoff. And, I mean, who said it better than a child? Because you give, I can beat this. Exactly right. And we've heard those stories time and time again. And you see the, the hope in their faces, the looks in their eyes. You can tell when, and they know that they're surrounded by quality care. And they know that they're surrounded by people who actually are taking it. It's not just a patient's number. It's not a, a name on a chart the people, the staff coming in to play with them, to, 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 to interact with them and make sure they know that they belong, that they're loved, they're cared for. My gosh, what, what more could you expect from uh, Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh? It's something we've come to expect over the decades. Absolutely. And their parents don't have to be stressed because of that free care fund. 412-692-8900 relieves stress for a parent. Right now we're going to go over to Ken Rice who's with some very special donors. All right, here we are. I'm sorry, we're chatting over here, and I got sort of discombobulated. I apologize. I'm joined by some folks from Levin Furniture. This is Jennifer Siege. Who'd you bring with you, Jennifer? Today I brought Jessica Yeoman, Jamie Battistella, and Joe Preisner. Okay, now you have all come from the Greensburg store, but you're here to represent, uh, is it 11 stores you said in Pennsylvania? Yes, seven full-line showrooms and four Levin mattress stores. Okay, now your, your partners here brought along some of these stuffed animals. Uh, that's not just a crutch for them to hold on to because they're nervous. It's to show off what you're selling at the stores. Tell me about these. Uh, these they're really cute. Thanks. Every year we do a stuffed animal drive for Children's Hospital. They're $5. You can pick them up at any store. And 100% of the proceeds goes to Children's Hospital. Isn't that nice? And they're available right now at Levin Stores. Yep, stop by. All right. And you, you told me there was also a partnership with the Bolskin Township Lions Club this year. Yes. The Bullskin Township Lions Club out of Connellsville, they do an auction for us every year and they raised over 5000 So part of that 5000 went into this fund that we're bringing here today. Excellent. And then there's one last thing. If you go to Levin's, they really would like you to come a little bit hungry and have a snack at their cafe because the proceeds from that also benefit? Yes. Sally's Cafe is located in most of our stores and all of the proceeds also goes to benefit Children's Hospital throughout the year. Excellent. All right, Jennifer, you guys ready? We're ready. All right, let's see Levin's. 2012 Free Care Fund contribution. It's a total of $20,000 for Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. Let's hear it for Levin's Furniture. Thank you so much. Thank you. Happy holidays. You too. Yet another one of our corporate donors, people who have been part of this for so many years, and that's what the Free Care Fund is about. Companies, organizations of all types, and individuals, that's where you come in. Let's head over to Lynn Hayes Freeland. Lynn. Ken, thanks so much. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm joined with my friend from Radio, Bill Rakoff. And you know, Bill, the times I've been to the emergency room here at Children's Hospital with my kids, how I was going to pay that bill was the furthest thing from my mind. You just don't even think about that when you come in here. And here was a great point raised by the staff and talking to them earlier today on the radio is that it's the furthest thing from the staff's mind and that's what the free care fund does it allows them to put blinders on as they say so they can treat every child the same whether or not there's money or not they don't even have to think about it and that's great for the families but it's also great for the doctors and the staff 
Absolutely. That's why your donation means so very much tonight. It doesn't matter if it's a large donation, a small donation. We just need you to pick up the phone. Our volunteers are here, 412-692-8900. If you're in the Pittsburgh area, outside of the area, 877-522-2201. Thanks ahead of time for the call. And right now we're going to go to Rick Dayton. Oh, boy. Back inside at PPG Winter Garden as we have an opportunity to talk with another one of the companies that is bringing not only funds from the employees, but also a company match. Jim, thank you very much for being here from Penn United. We very much appreciate it. Oh, it's, it's our pleasure to be here tonight to present this check uh, on behalf of all the employee owners at Penn United Technologies. I'm also really thrilled to, to say that we broke our record from last year. Our goal was to increase our amount by over 10%, and we did that this year. So we hit $64,000. $64,462 to be exact. You do an awful lot of different things, and for more than two decades this has been going on. Why? Why, why do you continue to do this? Well, the Children's Hospital is such an important asset to the community, and we're really proud that we have them close by. And some people forget that it's, it's very unique and very special to have uh, an organization and a facility that's this good, this close by, right down the road. And so. it's a great partnership between the company and the employees. The employees come up with a certain amount of money and then the company matches it. Why do they do that? Uh, that's, that's correct. Uh, we do a couple of things. We do a, a payroll deduction throughout the year. And for every dollar that's taken out of an employee's paycheck, they get a $1 ticket in a charity auction. All of our suppliers help out. They donate things for that auction. And then really the leadership of Penn United has been committed to this uh, children's hospital organization for a couple of decades. And they're, they're more than happy to match that amount every year for us. Yeah. Outstanding. Thank you very, very much for being here. Merry Thank Christmas you. to it's all of pleasure. you. Thanks for holding this massively big check. $64,000 and... 462 added on top of that. That just gives you an idea of the type of donations that's coming from Cabot, Pennsylvania. We're going to go to John Burnett right now. He works with numbers every single day. We put him in charge of the great big calculator to see where we stand right now. JB? And these numbers just keep looking better and better all the time. Rick, thank you so much. And thanks to all our friends who are making these incredible donations. Hand over fist, the money's coming in. And <laughs> everybody's smiling right now, folks, because that total since I was on with you last, has gone up almost a quarter of a million dollars. We are now up to $902,640 in our Free Care Friends Fund and still growing. Right now, we've got a special heartwarming story for you. Sit back and enjoy this. Little Nolan Wisnowski sets his own schedule. His mother Kelly was still 16 weeks from her due date when she and husband Tom rushed to Uniontown Hospital in September. We found out we were in full-term labor. How do you deal with, you know, you're only 24 weeks pregnant, your baby's not due till December. How, how is this happening? At that point, everything kind of stopped. It was the scariest moment in my life, and I don't think you ever get over something like that. One pound, nine ounces at birth. Two weeks later, doctors at Children's Hospital performed life-saving heart surgery. Nolan's breathing has improved to the point where he soon may come off the ventilator. He's doing uh, about as well as can be expected. Dr. Beverly Brozanski says it helps that at least one parent makes the three-hour round trip from Uniontown every day. Babies learn their touch. They hear their voices, and that really settles a, a baby down quite nicely, and it really helps with their personality. Little Nolan won't be home for Christmas, but that's okay. Christmas will come to him. This is a guy who likes to set his own schedule. You know, he has come so far, and I'm so proud of him, and he's, he's fought for this whole time, and he's fought so hard to be here where he is today. So. He's still here with us, so that's, that's the big, that's the big thing. I'm going to have Christmas with my son. He wouldn't be here today if he wouldn't have had these surgeries and the care that he's had. Uh, this has just been, you know, he's, he's everything. He's my life. I have my love. I love him. <laughs> I can't wait to take him home. Dave Crawley, KDKA, TV News. Sweet, sweet, sweet little Nolan. All right, it's babies like Nolan and others here in the hospital that have been helped by your contributions, by you picking up the phone right now and calling 412-692-8900 or 877 2201 Right now I'm joined with a couple of folks from GNC who uh, have a big check to present to us right now. Tell me your name. Uh, Art McSorley. 
on Meg Sorley. Okay, thank you guys for being with us today. Now, a lot of people maybe don't know, GNC has a big headquarters here. I mean, you think of it as a place where you go and get your vitamins, but you guys are so much more. You have a rich history here in Pittsburgh. Yes, we've been in uh, Pittsburgh for 75, over 75 years. More than 75 years. All right, so you guys had a big fundraiser to uh, raise some money to help out with the uh, free care fund. Tell me what you guys did. Uh, this is our eighth annual uh, GNC golf outing. Uh, we've raised uh, a lot of money over the last eight years and very proud to be a part of Children's Hospital. Uh, we have very generous sponsors that work with us. Uh, there are mostly our vendors that uh, give very generously to the golf outing. Okay, so you want to let us know how much you raised this year. Let's reveal that big check. All right, give a big round of applause right here for GNC, $154,000 for the Free Care Friends Benefit Fund. Guys, thank you so much. Hang out right here for just a second. Again, we hear the phones ringing, but still, some of the operators are just sitting there with nothing to do, so we want you to call the number on your screen. We're here to 8 o'clock, but don't wait until it's too late. Go ahead and pick up the phone and call. Your contribution will help so many kids. Right now, let's go to Mary Robb. Well, we are in the patient room with Ben Rumsing. He is from Waynesburg in Greene County. And when I asked Ben uh, how long he had been dealing with issues that have brought him here to Children's Hospital, you said what? Um, well, I came here in 99. Uh, um, I've been sick my whole life. Um, I had my first transplant in 2001. In, in a small intestine yes, transplant? Yes, uh, a small intestinal. Um, and then I lost it in actually September of 2007. And then I received my second one in 09, uh, small and large um, intestinal, and lost it. It lasted about a year and a half. Um, been in and out. Right now I'm in with a line infection and uh, some kidney uh, issues. And so what does that mean? Now, you're a pretty sharp guy. You were telling me, what does that mean in terms of how you're doing, what your prognosis is? Um, well, right now I am doing good. I mean, I feel good, but I might look good, but blood work might say something else. Uh, I mean, hopefully I get out here for, uh, for Christmas and go home, but I know this won't be the last time I'll, 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 I'm back in here, because I'm, I'm in and out. So um, do you get another transplant? Is that no. The no. Um, I can't get a, another transplant mostly because um, over time I have built up um, antibodies, and if they try to put a new transplant back in, then those antibodies will attack it and I will reject it again. But Tom Starzl, Dr. Tom Starzl was in on your case from the early on, wasn't he? Yeah. That's pretty amazing yeah. stuff, isn't it? So you've become kind of an expert in small intestine, in large, I guess, now intestine. Yeah. And the condition is what? Did they... um, my condition is holovisceral myopathy. It is, um, as, as I understand it, it is... Um, it, it attacks on the nerves, and where I have it is my lower body. Um, when uh, when I was born, I was born healthy, I was fine, but over time, as I would eat, I would start to get sick, and um, it took the first four years of my life in and out of hospitals across uh, the country to finally find somebody to do a test and come to find out, my stomach worked about 72%. My small intestine was about 20% still alive, and my colon was completely dead. Oh, wow. This must be hard for a family to go through. It is. I mean, um, I'm not from Pennsylvania. I'm from the West Coast. And I originally moved here with, with my dad um, back in 99. And a year later, my dad went home back home and got, and got my brother and sisters and brought them out here and we lived out here. But my mom had to stay on the West Coast for almost 14 years to work. And she worked three, four jobs just to keep um, the bills paid and keep insurance. And 
You do what you have to do. Yeah. I mean, some things are looking up. My mom has, it is actually back home. She lives with us um, here in um, Paints, uh, here in Pennsylvania. Um, actually, my dad works. My mom stays at home. So, kind of, it's it, it's back and forth. So you will want to be home for Christmas, I would imagine, yes. for the holidays. That's your wish. Yes. Ben, I I wish you the best, and uh, you know there. There are miracles in this world, and yes, you never there know. Are. You believe in them too, don't yes. you? Yes. I do too. I do too. And I think that uh, right now we're going to go back to Ken and Kimberly and thank you. Thank you. What a good guy. Mary Rob, thanks. You know, we're reminded there's a lot of bravery in this building, a lot of courage in these halls and in these rooms. I'm joined now by Rob Barella from Giant Eagle, again, one of the longtime supporters of the Free Care Fund, and the magic to, to Giant Eagle's contribution every year is about this big. Remind everybody what we're talking about here, Rob. Absolutely, Ken. It's the Giant Eagle cookie card. It is a wonderful way to teach our children about the spirit of giving, particularly during the holiday season. Plus, the kids get to receive a free cookie year-round. Just in case anybody is not familiar with the Giant Eagle cookie card, how does it work? You can just go into any Giant Eagle store at the customer service desk and purchase a card for a dollar, and that entitles your child to a free cookie in our stores year-round, and of course that dollar goes to help the free care fund. All your child has to do is then take that card, flash it like a VIP at the bakery, and boom, cookie in hand cookie in hand. And again, all the proceeds, uh, everything that is earned on cookie cards goes right to the Free Care Fund. 100% goes to the Free Care Fund, and we've been doing this for many, many years. It's a terrific cause to support. I know you've been a longtime partner. All right, Rob Barella has a check from Giant Eagle this year, and there it is, this year's total, $65,000 from Giant Eagle. That's incredible. That's a lot of cookie cards, Rob. Barry, thank, thank you so much. Appreciate you. it. Happy holidays. You too. All right. Uh, a little official business before we uh, before we continue on here. Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh Foundation, which is what we're raising money for tonight. The sole fundraising arm of Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC. The foundation is a 501 tax-exempt organization, a public charity under sections 509 and 170 of the Internal Revenue Code. Contributions are tax-deductible to the extent permitted by law. So there you have that. Now over to Brenda. Hey guys, I'm with a great family from Castle Shannon. This is Carrie, the mom. This is Leah, and this is Gracie. Now, their brother is in the hospital. He's Derek, he's four years old. Carrie, tell me a little bit about Derek. How long has he been here and why is he here? This um, hospital stay, he has been um, here since Sunday and he's probably gonna go home tomorrow morning. He had a problem with his feeding tube and his skin got um, irritated and a little bit infected, um, but he's doing a lot better now. He's been here, I would say this is probably his 10th um, stay in the last 13 months. He has a lot of um, stomach problems. And, and Children's Hospital has definitely made a difference in, in your life and his life. Yeah, it has made an amazing difference in his life. Um, before his first surgery for his reflux, he wasn't even on the growth chart. And in the first three months, he gained um, 13 pounds and went to the 95th percentile. So it has really helped him a lot. And, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with his voice over there, huh, Derek? Yeah, He's being voice. held by Nicole, and yeah. Nicole is a child life worker and uh, Derek has a lot of girlfriends and Nicole yes. is one of his girlfriends so thank you so much for sharing your story oh, you guys no are just beautiful uh, you like to talk don't you yeah how are you good okay you like this hospital yeah okay because your brother's here and they they make a difference huh, for your brother um, okay well thank you so much all right you know how often do you get to make a miracle happen how often does that happen you can do that just pick up the phone and call 412-692-8900 or Toll free, 877-522-2201. All you have to do is pick up the phone. We're coming to you tonight. All you have to do is make that difference. Let's go now to Rick Dayton at PPG. Rick? You know, we've had a chance to introduce you to some wonderful, wonderful people from Pittsburgh, from Butler County, and now we're going to go to Derry, Pennsylvania, and check out the size of this group and a great big, huge bendable check for more than $5,000. This comes from our friends at Derry Area Middle School, and this is just part of the group that has worked very, very hard, more than 100 students over the course of the year that do all sorts of things to raise that incredible amount of money. And... You may not even realize it, but there's actually a club at the school that specifically goes about raising that money. We're going to visit with Allison right now. Allison, tell us a little bit about some of the different things that you do to raise that money. 
Okay, so this is our 41st year raising money for Children's Hospital. And what we did is we did a hoagie sale. We placed cans in stores. We did a school fair. We sold bracelets, t-shirts, and lollipops. We held a movie night. We solicited business donations, and we collected at our Christmas concert. And this year, we raised $5,587.44. That is absolutely outstanding. Isn't that just awesome? Now, how long is a bus ride from Derry to Pittsburgh? One hour. How long was it tonight? Like two hours. What happened? Our bus broke down. The bus broke down. But still, look at the smiling faces. Even with the bus breaking down, they still want to sing. That's right. They want to sing. And so we've got an impromptu concert. Ready? One, two, three. So not only can they raise money with the best of them, but they're a pretty doggone good singing group as well. Our friends from Derry Area Middle School bringing us more than $5,400, 5500 and change that will go to Children's Hospital. And for 41 years, they have been doing this. Thank you all very, very much, and Merry Christmas. Thank you. That's the type of uh, just selfless kids that we have here in Western Pennsylvania and so glad to have them on our side. Let's find out where we stand right now. Let's head back to Lynn Hayes Freeland. Lynn? Thanks, Rick. And you know, we listen to these kids singing and I don't know about you, Bill, but when I think hear all these stories, I feel like I'm so blessed. I have so much to be grateful for. And if everyone gave a dollar for all the things they felt grateful for tonight, do you know how busy these phone operators would be? They would be nonstop and long after we're gone. Listen, you just want to love on those kids. That little boy crying. You just want to reach through the screen and grab on to him. I heard a great story on the radio this afternoon about a mom who's got her little uh, daughter here, six years old, a deformed heart, and she needs a heart transplant. She's on the list right now. And oh, by the way, two weeks ago, from out of town, had to have a baby over at McGee. So she's got a newborn here and dealing with the stress of that. The free care fund goes a long way toward making sure they've got the little extras that they might need, little things that help out the support staff and everybody here doing what they can. You know, hey, let us take that little newborn so you can love on your daughter a little bit. So can't say enough. Make those phones ring. Absolutely. That's what I say. Give a dollar. Think of five things you're grateful for. Ten things that you're grateful for. Just think of the number of things that you're grateful for in your life. Give a dollar for every one of those things that you're grateful for. That will make every one of these phone... Uh, I see one of my friends over here on the phone. She is not busy right now. We want to make their arms so tired because you're calling in those pledges. 412-692-8900. If you're in the Pittsburgh area or if you're outside of our area, 877-522-2201. That will keep them busy. In the meantime, we're going to go over to my other friend, Kimberly Gill. Okay, Lynn and Bill, thanks very much. I'm joined right now by, with some students from Avonworth, uh, the school district there. Tell me your first and last name. What grade you're in? Stephanie Springer, and I'm a junior. Molly Davis, and I'm a senior. I'm Greg Wolf. I'm a physics teacher at the high school. And you're not in a grade. You're a teacher, right? Okay. Right. Dave Coma, one of the school concerts at Apple. Okay, fantastic. So you guys did a lot to raise money. You want to talk a little bit about what you did? Um, we have a live auction and an online auction. And? And also, we sold pinups. Um, we did a change challenge. And also, tonight, we actually have our annual um, student versus faculty dodgeball tournament going on. Exciting. So you still have things going on right now as we speak. Okay. And you guys have been doing this for a long time, right? Maybe not you, but because you're very young. How long have you guys been involved? This is our 25th anniversary. And you're a lot younger than 25, aren't you? So you weren't doing it. But still, over the years, it says here that you've raised more than $200,000. So let's see what we got today. You want to flip that check over? 
What do we have here? Twen more than $21,000. $21,050.86. Guys, that is fantastic. Again, they're from Avonworth Middle and High School. Thank you very much. Right now, we're going to go over to John Burnett to see how our totals are doing right now. JB, hey. Hey, Kim. Thanks to the generous folks there in Avonworth, we are up almost to one and a quarter million dollars. How about one million two hundred and forty four thousand seven hundred and thirty three. That's about three hundred and forty thousand dollars more than we were last time I saw you. Next time I'm back, I know I'll have a lot more. Keep those phones ringing. Keep those calls coming and keep the money flowing to help the kids. Now let's go back to Ken and Kim. Guys. All right, John, thanks very much. So, you know, we're getting there, but the free care fund is a big deal. We heard the president of the hospital, Chris Gessner, tell us earlier they had like close to 30,000 children whose families needed the free care fund just in the past year. This is an important thing you can do once a year at the holidays. You know, when so many people are, are going through their, their family traditions, make this one of them. Make a call to Children's Hospital and contribute to the free care fund. We've had a fantastic night so far. We really have, but we want those phones to continue to ring. When you look at our volunteers over there, you can see a lot of them are on the phone, but a lot of them don't have anything to do. So uh, we want you to call the numbers on your screen to make those donations. We've been hearing stories all night long about how uh, your contributions have helped children in our community, and we want to continue to be able to provide that kind of care to kids because yep. you know they, you, when something happens to your kid you're not thinking of how you can you have to you're going to pay for it you know so it's so nice to be able to have this in our community we're, we're really really lucky to have it here we are indeed and it's inspiring to hear some of the stories of the patients here at children's hospital yes. right now we want to share with you judah's story Babies are naturally cute, but I must say Judah Koshansky is especially adorable. Instead of his nursery at home, though, Judah's been in the Children's Hospital Cardiac Intensive Care Unit for almost all of his 12 weeks of life. First-time parents Jessica and Nate learned soon after he was born that their son has truncus arteriosus, a rare congenital heart defect. I had had a pretty uneventful, pretty calm, easy pregnancy, so it was, it was a big shock. Basically, Judah was born with one instead of two blood vessels coming from his heart. He needed surgery to fix it, and Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh is the only place in this part of the country that can treat this rare defect. They came in with such confidence, mm -hmm. with such mm -hmm. assuredness that this is what we're going to do, we're going to fix this. Judah hasn't had an easy road since his surgery. In fact, just four weeks ago, he went into cardiac arrest. Technically, he died. His heart stopped, but through the good work of the people here at Children's Hospital, they revived him, giving him CPR for 45 minutes. It was horrifying, but also there, I knew there was not a second that he wasn't being cared for. Because they jumped into action so quickly, I mean, it absolutely saved his life. And to the surprise of even the doctors, Judah suffered no brain damage. Dr. Constantinos Chrysostomo oversees Judah's care here. It's amazing. It's, uh, it's very gratifying, uh, but it's amazing to see Judah doing so well. And I think he's an example of uh, uh, of the care here at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. He's uh, uh, definitely uh, uh, makes our life and, uh, and our daily life uh, worth doing. <laughs> yes, a little bit. With such happy parents, Judah's a happy baby, despite all he's been through, bringing joy to all the lives he's touched in his first three months of life. too often we use the words amazing awesome on a regular basis but they don't mean that much because the things we're talking about are not amazing they're not awesome but when you listen to Judah's story you hear the things that have happened to him at this facility they are awesome they are amazing they truly are and the doctors here I mean they get this I mean the, the, the coolest thing that I've discovered over the years and haven't been here as a patient as a kid brought my own kids here I know you've done the same thing the doctors have the knowledge, but there's, there's, there's something different here. Not only do they have the knowledge, but they've got the heart. And it takes a special breed, I think, to be a staff member here at Children's Hospital. I don't think it's for everybody um, who's in clinical work, but the people who are here are truly special. Nate's dad said it best to me on the radio a little bit earlier today. He said, you know, as much as he's been through, he said, uh, 
if you want an outcome, this is where you want to be to have the best possible outcome. He said, give early, give often, and please, and he said, thank you. Thank you to everybody for donating. Absolutely, and that's what you're doing. You're giving peace of mind for, for parents, like Judah's parents, like Nate's parents, who Bill referenced earlier. That's what you're doing when you pick up that phone and call 412-692-8900. You're giving peace of mind to a parent. In the meantime, we're going to go to Mary Rob Jackson, who's with a patient. And I have a smiling guy here, Hunter Toplovich, along with his mom, Katura, and dad, Mark. And uh, you guys are from from Spring Creek, Pennsylvania. Not too far from Erie. And Hunter, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. And you just had some fancy stuff done this week, right? Yeah. You know what they did? Heart surgery. Some surgery, heart surgery. And your mom certainly knows, even if you don't remember everything, this has been a long journey for this family. Yes, it has. It started, uh, Hunter was born with Tetralogy of Fallot, and he had his first operation when he was five months old, so back in 2005. So it's been quite a long journey, so yes. And things are going well. And, yes. And Hunter, I understand that you definitely want to be home for Christmas, is that right? Yeah. Hunter is a, an architect in the making. He wants, what do you want for Christmas? Connects. Connects. You're a builder. Hunter the builder. So tell me something. Um, you're going to go home, do you, and, but before you do, you've been having fun here with some, some friends who've come to visit the, in the hospital. Can you tell me about that? Well, there's a dog. The dogs. These are special dogs, though, aren't they? Yeah. They come in and visit you. You've got to show, Hunter, show your smile because this is the smile you never forget with a kid. All I want for Christmas are my two front teeth. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Would you like to wish Merry Christmas to everyone? Can you do that out there? Say, look right there and say Merry Christmas. Go ahead. Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. And you have a wonderful one. And say, we're going to Ken and Kimberly. We're going to Ken and Kimberly. Oh, you've got a future, I'll tell you. Oh, that is so cute. Mary Robin thank Hunter, you. thank you very much. It looks like he's missing a few more than just the two front teeth. He's missing some of the bottom, too. That's very sweet. All right, uh, we want to just remind you of the phone number, folks. 412-692-8900, 877-522-2201. And we also just have a few things that we want to uh, let you know about. Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh Foundation is the sole fundraising arm of Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC. The foundation is a 501 tax-exempt organization and is a public charity under sections 509 and 170 of the Internal Revenue Code. Contributions are tax-deductible to the extent permitted by law. What all that means is that if you call right now, you can write this off on your taxes. So uh, we encourage you to make the phones ring. You can help little kids just like Hunter, who you heard from there, and so many others who will need the services here at Children's Hospital. And thanks to you, over the years, we've been able to continue to provide services to children in the region in need. 412-692-8900-877-522-2201. Let's go over to my friend, Lynn and Bill. Thanks, Kimberly. You know, Bill Rakoff from, from KDKA Radio and I are over here at the phones. When we hear them ring, that's music to our ears. When parents come here to Children's Hospital, they find out they may not have to be stressed about the bill. That is music to their ears. Boy, let me tell you something. There are times, too, where, uh, especially in this day and age, there are gaps in the health care insurance coverage. I mean, you take your child to the hospital, and maybe, as you've seen in some of these most extraordinary cases, you have situations where the bill is 10 times greater than you ever thought it could be, and maybe insurance isn't going to cover it all. We've got new things coming in next year. Affordable health care kicks into gear. There may be more gaps, we're being told. This is where the Free Care Fund fills those gaps. It helps these kids, again, without any kind of discrimination. The doctors don't see who is and who isn't uh, as far as insurance is concerned. What they see is a patient that needs to be treated, and because of the Free Care Fund, those patients are treated equally and with expert care. You raise such a good point because if this is your child, all you know is that you want your child to get well, you bring your child to the hospital, you want care. That's all you know. 412-692-8900 helps a parent in that situation. These volunteers are waiting to hear from you. So make that call now. Do what you can to help a parent. In the meantime, Brenda Waters is over in the playroom with some very special children. Hey, Lynn, thank you. You know, it's time for a speedy delivery. Uh -huh. 
Chris McFeely's here. Hey, how are you? I am fine, Brenda. Good to see you each and every year. What do you have in that bag? I have deliveries for everybody here, so really? shall I start delivering? Yeah. Oh, Ray, Hello. you're going to get some yes. for that today. There's one for you, Why, a speedy you. delivery. Now, here's one for you. That's, that's your delivery. You're welcome. So, Mr. McFeely, you're here every year, just like the rest of us. What's it mean to you to be here at Children's Hospital? It means a lot to me because my three children, growing up, they were all here at, at, at Children's. And it really is the most wonderful place as if you're ill. Yes. And it, it, that's why I'm doing this, because how much they did for my children. And you guys are all ready for your toys, huh? Here's, yeah, here's okay. The, well, Merry Christmas. Enjoy your toys. You know, we're telling you tonight that you can indeed make miracles happen here tonight. I mean, how often can you make something happen just by picking up the phone? And, you know, we're coming to you tonight. You don't have to leave home. You don't have to go out in the rain tonight. We're call You can just call us. Just call us and say how much you would like to give. All you have to do is just pick up the phone and dial 412-692-8900 or toll-free. See, we're making it toll-free. We're making it so easy. Not only are we coming to you, we have a toll-free number, and that is 877-522-2201. These kids are all here with their parents. The parents are so lucky to have their children with them. And one of the reasons that many of them do have their children is because of Children's Hospital. This is where miracles happen. So be grateful for your children, that you have them, that they're well, and they have great voices back here. Yeah, you they're feeling good. They have great voices here. So just pick up the phone and make a difference. Let's go back now to Ken Wright's. All right, Brenda, I want to, I don't want to brag, but you know, all by myself, I was able to identify who this group of people represents. I picked out a clue and I just went with it. They're from Eaton Park. Kevin O'Connell is here and uh, it's lovely to have Smiley along with us and some people representing some of your restaurants, some of your corporate office. This is something that you guys have in, been involved with for many, many years and it, it's localized to each individual restaurant, right? That's right. This is our 34th year, and it really starts with all of our team members at every location. We have 8,000 team members that all, this is one of their favorite times of year, and they have spaghetti dinners, and they have tips for tots, and they have raffles, and it's a lot of fun because it's a great cause, and they really get behind it. And you, you guys at the corporate office, you you created a competitive spirit, don't you? Oh, yeah. There's winners. Yeah, everybody, Everybody's a winner, but the, some restaurants, uh, everybody competes to be the best fundraiser, and, uh, and which makes it every year gets better and better. Uh, and this year was kind of special because it's the 30th anniversary of our Christmas Star commercial. And so we uh, we sold special merchandise to raise money for the uh, campaign and it was wildly popular and uh, and it really helped. Okay, so each restaurant does their own thing in terms of raising funds, but then there's this huge project you do every year in partnership with Scott. Scott, come on over here. You're with Ford, correct. right? Yes. And you guys do a raffle together. Tell me about that. Uh, correct. Yeah, this is the third consecutive year that the uh, neighborhood Ford stores have been involved with caring for kids, and it's just been a great relationship. Um, you know, all our dealers are involved in their local communities, so this is a great opportunity to give back and let them give back to their community. So what we do is each year a, a new Ford product is raffled off, and I understand this year we had uh, record ticket sales. Yep for the vehicle and just yesterday we announced our winner of a, a 2013 Ford Escape of um, Brandon Dawson from Cheswick will soon be taking delivery of that vehicle and he's very excited about it. I think his holiday season just got a little bit better. Absolutely. It'll be a great Christmas. That's outstanding. All right, I think we're ready to see this year's total. We have our, our giant check flippers are ready to go. Kevin, so go ahead. I need to thank real yeah, Oh, yes, please. Because uh, we have great partners that really help us with this. Sheets, uh, Nestle Vitality Food Service, Pittsburgh Post Gazette, KDK Radio, and of course KDK TV, and uh, and we can't thank Ford enough because it really helps. We sold over 77,000 raffle tickets this year, which I'm proud to say brought us to the highest total we've ever had in company history, second year in a row with a record. Mercy and Sarah's flip the check. Here we go. Read it off. Three hundred thirty-six thousand four hundred ninety-two dollars. Holy! And I do have to say, uh, this not only goes to the free care fund, uh, but this year we're also donating some of it to develop programming to make the kids' experience here as, as pleasant as it can be. Uh, and this also, we also donate money, uh, raise money in some of our other territories for 12 other hospitals, and our company total was over 420000 And again, it was a huge record this year, so we're excited. Our team members did a great job. We thank the people of Pittsburgh for all their donations. Kevin, thank you. Thanks to everybody at Eaton Park. All right, real quick, over to John Burnett, JB. Oh, Ken, it's unbelievable. And everybody in the audience who has had a child in children's, raise your hand. 
my son Eric in 1985. Now, I had insurance at KDKA that paid for it, but a lot of folks don't, and you know that, and because of that, your generosity tonight is amazing. And in fact, here's what it has brought about. The total now, $1,720,722 in our free care fund. Congratulations, Pittsburgh. Thank you. And God bless. Ken? All right, JB, incredible. I think the gentleman that Kimberly and I have with us now is going to be very happy to hear that total. That's right. This is Greg Barrett with the foundation. How does that make you feel to hear that huge total? I am speechless, and it is really a thank you to everybody who called in tonight, to all of the, the donors, all the corporations, everybody in the Pittsburgh community for making this possible. We're thrilled. Isn't it fantastic? I mean, how, how many kids are you able to... It's, it's just amazing, right? It really is. And again, I said this earlier today, the great story about this is that, that what you saw tonight, you saw maybe 40, 50 people total come in and speak. But really behind that are thousands and hundreds of thousands of people that participated every day in the free care campaign over the many months leading up to tonight. Really, that's the exciting part. I want everybody to think about all of the Eden Park waitresses that were out selling raffle tickets who gave up a day of their tips to make this happen. Think about all the Howard Hanna realtors, thousands of them out there. And if each one of them, there's 4,000 realtors in Howard Hanna. If each one of them touched 100 people in this campaign, think about the number of people that means that we're participating in this. And that is fantastic. That's it's a Pittsburgh story. It is, it is. It's wonderful. Pleasure to be a part of it. Thank with you, Greg. You. Thank, Thank you very so much, real. Greg. Thank all right. You. Uh, here we go. Brenda and Mary Rob, take I it away. Love that. Okay, you know, the people in the room, in the playroom here, have something to say, Mary Rob. What do you guys want to say? Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for making a difference. God bless. Merry Christmas. Miracles do happen. Just call Children's Hospital. Just because we're going off the air doesn't mean that you can't still call. Please call. Make a difference. We're coming to your house. You don't have to leave. Please call a difference. Look at these faces here. One more time, guys. Say Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. All right. Happy children with their parents. They are so fortunate to be together tonight because of Children's yeah, Hospital. They do make a difference here. Mary Rob has been smile. in the gym with the patients for oh. all night, so she knows about these stories personally. So you guys want to sing Silent Night? Let's sing. Let's do Jingle Bells. Okay. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. On the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> This December, remember, now is the perfect moment to find the perfect Lexus. The Lexus December to Remember sales event is on. Lease the all-wheel drive 2013 RX 350 for these terms, and as a gift from Lexus, we'll make your first month's payment. See your Lexus dealer. Dear Honda, thanks for the deal you got my sister at your holiday sales event. Shotgun! Rides in her Civic are full of valuable information. Tim's parents are gone. Party! <laughs> Interesting. Plus, my iPod connects to the car. And since she saved it so much, she's going to be a lot nicer. Love, Samantha. More happiness with every Honda during Happy Honda Days. Get a great deal on the 2012 Civic at your Honda dealer. Come see what he got me for Christmas. Okay. A new computer. Without the right service, <sighs> your new computer won't seem so new. And I got a new tablet. Okay, honey, don't show off.
So choose Xfinity from Comcast. With the fastest internet and now the fastest in-home Wi-Fi. Switch to the Xfinity Triple Play for $79.99 a month for 12 months and get $150 back. Plus, there's no term contract required. Make a good gift and awesome gift with Xfinity. Available only at Comcast.com slash no contract. At Chevy's year-end event, we have 11 vehicles that offer an EPA-estimated 30 MPG highway or better. Yeah? Hey. Hey. Where's your suit? Oh, it's casual Friday. <laughs> oh. Chevy's giving more. This holiday season, get a 2013 Malibu LS for around $189 per month or get $1,000 holiday bonus cash. This December, remember... Now is the perfect moment to find the perfect Lexus. The Lexus December to Remember sales event is on. Lease the 2013 ES350 for these terms, and as a gift from Lexus, we'll make your first month's payment. See your Lexus dealer. Tonight, elementary is simply a standout. Case is closed, is it not? You are so full of it. Is this something I said? TV's number one new show, Elementary, tonight. And the next wedding gift is... a gravy boat. Ooh, one gravy boat. That's from Sheldon. He told me he had it engraved. In the event of a divorce, please return to Sheldon Cooper. Frankie, you don't have to wear the uniform here. Why don't you take off your jacket? I'm used to it. Excuse me. Do you know room 17 French is? Yes. off in your textbooks? Excuse me, people, if I need to ask again, I'm going to write up the entire class. Take your seats! Chapter 7. Will you please open your textbooks to uh, Chapter 8, and we'll get started. Excuse me, what's your name? Brad. Brad, why don't you get up here in front of the class here and read conversation number 5. Liz Francais son uh, general element. Dunsler pays Q, press Q, toot le monde, uh, set impression. They sent for me. They said they needed a sub for Roberta. I came all the way from, from Dixon. Oh, I, I always sub for Roberta. Excuse me, why aren't you reading? Uh, QL's own. I'll brand. never come back to, to Bellamy Please. Jefferson again. Please. You tell them not to call me. What do you think? It's easy for a woman my age and all the money that it costs to travel. I tell you, they don't give it there. Mr. and Mrs. Abagnale, this is not a question of your son's attendance. I regret to inform you that for the past week, Frank has been teaching Mrs. Glasser's French class. He what? Your son has been pretending to be a substitute teacher, lecturing the students. Uh, 